Hi, everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. And with that out of the way, let's begin the video. Today's big idea comes from Harvard Business School professor and renowned change expert, John P. Cotter. In this video, we will walk you through his eight-step change model as it is presented in his famous book, Leading Change. The eight-step process for leading change was cultivated from over four decades of Dr. Cotter's observations of countless leaders and organizations as they were trying to transform or execute their strategies. He identified and extracted the success factors and combined them into a methodology, the award-winning eight-step process for leading change. Step one, create a sense of urgency. You can't appeal to people with data and facts alone. You must also account for how people feel. This step is all about igniting the hearts and minds of your people. You have to identify, articulate, and communicate the need for change, rather than just a want for change. Compared with other steps in the change process, phase one can sound easy. It isn't. And many companies fail already in this first phase. Often, failure occurs because senior management underestimates how hard it is to motivate people to change. Starting a transformation requires the accumulative cooperation of many individuals. Without motivation, people won't change. Step two, building a guiding coalition. A coalition is defined as a temporary alliance between two or more parties that come together to achieve a common goal. In Cotter's universe, the Guiding Coalition is a group of stakeholders that come together to enable the desired change. It can take many shapes, but must consist of members from multiple layers of the hierarchy, represent many functions, and receive information about the organization from all levels. The Coalition can help you ensure there is support for change throughout the organization. Step 3 form a strategic vision and initiatives. Most change initiatives are complex and complicated. For this reason, creating a powerful vision is a useful way of generating support from the whole organization. Always remember to complement your vision with strategic initiatives in the form of targeted and coordinated activities that will help make your vision a reality. Step four, enlist an army. Your vision needs to be thoroughly communicated throughout the organization. This step is all about soliciting a volunteer army, a sizable body of employees who are excited and able to take action on the strategic initiatives linked to your vision. Here is an excellent opportunity to utilize the guiding coalition as between them, they are likely to have networks in every area of the business. Step five. Enable action by removing barriers. In order to remove barriers, you must identify them. Think about why past initiatives have failed. Did they get off to a good start? At what stage did they fail? Did they actually get completed but then just forgotten? Barriers can be commonly accepted statements that, while appearing helpful, can hinder the planned change. It can be statements like, we tried to change before, it didn't work. Other common barriers include silos, financial targets, complacency, and regulations. Step six, generate short-term wins. Change processes often take a while before they reap any rewards. This can cause a decline in support if individuals think their efforts have been wasted. For this reason, it is important to demonstrate advantages of the change by creating short-term wins. A win is anything, big or small, that help you move towards your change opportunity. Collect, categorize, and communicate your wins as early and often as possible. Step seven, sustain acceleration. Cotter argues that many change projects fail because victory is declared too early. It is important to sustain and cement the change long after it has been implemented, so keep setting goals for continued improvement. Step eight, institute change. This step is all about sustaining the change in the long run. 
Simply changing the habits and processes of employees is not always enough to instill a culture change across the organization. The changes should become part of the core of your organization to have a lasting effect. Keeping senior stakeholders engaged and celebrating individuals who adopt the change will help cementing the change. And there you have it, Cotter's 8-Step Change Management Model. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.